digital technologies and biological systems are beginning to combine and merge in ways that could be profoundly disruptive to our assumptions about society, the economy, and our bodies. We call this the biodigital convergence. Over the past 40 years, the economy has transformed through digital evolutions in information technology like the internet, smartphone, applications, and big data analytics. The biodigital convergence could change the way we design and manufacture goods, revolutionize healthcare and agriculture, modify our environment, and even alter how humans evolve as a species. Today, many innovations are driving the changes, but what are the key things we should be looking out for? What new biodigital capabilities could completely alter the world? My name is Marcus Ballinger. My name is Eric Ward. I'm Christelle Van der Rels. My name is Thierry de Marseille. The whole biodigital thing is about really the convergence of two domains that tend to be thought of as separate. Essentially, you take something that's biological and something that's digital and you smush them together, like a dragonfly, for example. And what they do is you take a dragonfly, obviously a biological entity, and you stick a microchip on the back of it, and it's wired into the sensors or the nerves of the biological entity. You can actually control the dragonfly, straight integration of two things. That one's pretty, pretty obvious to people. The second one is one where you're getting really large advances in one domain that are predicated on advances in the others. So an example would be knowing what genes turn things on or off. But the only reason we can do that is because we have massive digital technology that can actually do the sequencing and use AI to figure out which are the appropriate genes. So you wouldn't have gotten those biological advances if you didn't have the digital advances. The third way is more of a conceptual convergence. So we've tended to think of life as being sort of random and unpredictable. It has an unknowability about it. Whereas we've thought about digital technologies being very predictable and precise. Like you program a computer and it does a specific thing and it doesn't deviate from that thing. What we're seeing as the technologies converge is that we're now understanding biology. Actually, it's a lot more predictable. It's looking more like the digital technologies. We can actually program genetic sequences, we can program DNA to do specific things. So we can, we can program organisms in the way that we used to think we, we could program machines. On the opposite side, what we're finding is that digital technologies, as they get more complex, like artificial intelligence, for example, it sometimes acts in unexpected ways. So in many respects, it becomes more like what we originally thought of biology as being unpredictable and random. And so when we're thinking about things, we might be thinking about it as an integration or a synthesis of those two concepts rather than as two separate things. technologie, une biotechnologie euh, qui permet de modifier l'ADN euh, in vitro. Et on peut juste commencer à s'imaginer euh, au cours des 10 à 15 prochaines années où est-ce que cette technologie-là pourrait nous mener dans une optique où on pourrait peut-être éliminer certaines maladies, euh, immuniser le corps humain ou du moins une génération complète contre certaines maladies. Et aussi, c'est la possibilité de personnaliser one of the strangest things, or, or weirdest, I suppose, that I've had to wrap my head around is synthetic biology, molecular coffee, for example. It's researching a company in Seattle that is making coffee without the bean. So they're looking at it from a sustainability angle. And there's a lot of movement in the biodigital with sustainability. So everything from 3D printing meat in your kitchen, printing a chicken breast instead of it coming from a farm, to making coffee without the bean synthetically. I think one of the weirdest things was there's a robot and they put brain cells in it. Although it's not conscious or aware in the sense that you would think we are aware, it seems to make decisions. Like the brain seems to decide where it wants to send the robot. So I find that really bizarre. Through our foresight research, we started to see the integration of our networked information technologies 
and the biological systems that have evolved on Earth and that we're getting a third thing, and that's new. That's what we want to explore in Foresight. So this could be a big game changer. With yeast and bacteria, we can make anything out of yeast. We're starting to see people able to make things in their home that previously would have taken entire research units and labs. And that's what's so interesting about the biodigital is it's accessible. Nous pensons que la convergence entre les systèmes biologiques et les systèmes numériques, on est au même point qu'où étaient les technologies numériques dans les années 80. Donc cette convergence bio-numérique, elle ouvre la voie à des façons entièrement nouvelles de nous changer, nos corps, notre esprit, nos comportements. Cela nous permet aussi de changer nos écosystèmes, de créer de nouveaux organismes. Nous pouvons aussi, d'une façon différente, percevoir, stocker, traiter et transmettre des informations. Et nous pourrons aussi restructurer différemment les chaînes d'approvisionnement et la production. Nous pensons que dans les années qui viennent, nous pourrons avoir une intégration de cette technologie bio-numérique, tout comme le sont maintenant les technologies numériques. Nous pouvons aussi être amenés à nous poser des questions sur ce que ça veut dire d'être humain, ce qui est naturel. Par conséquent, vu l'ampleur des implications de la convergence bio-numérique, nous devons commencer à réfléchir à ce qui est possible, à ce qu'on veut voir dans le futur, pour que nous puissions construire un futur bionumérique que nous voulons. What I'm hoping for out of this study is that we can generate some good, rich pictures of plausible different futures of the biodigital convergence for Canada. I do have a lot of hope for what the next generation might be able to achieve as we move through the biodigital convergence. During the information technology decades, we have really focused on the knowledge economy. If we're going to do the biodigital right, the kind of choices that we're going to have to make are going to require actually more than knowledge. It's going to require wisdom. La convergence bionumérique aura des impacts sur différentes industries et sur plein de domaines politiques. Donc pour un analyste, il serait intéressant de commencer à regarder qu'est-ce qui pourrait arriver, en quoi est-ce que ça impacte en fait mon domaine de responsabilité Est-ce qu'il y a des changements dans le futur pour lesquels moi il faut que je me prépare Est-ce qu'il y a besoin de nouvelles lois qui doivent être créées Est-ce qu'il y a besoin de changements dans les stratégies politiques afin d'arriver à nos buts Est-ce qu'il y a des investissements à considérer pour pouvoir saisir les opportunités qui viennent de cette convergence Ou est-ce qu'il y a des conversations avec la société qu'on doit mener pour savoir ce que la société veut et de comment on peut se préparer justement pour saisir les opportunités sans tomber dans les conséquences inattendues d'une convergence pareille.